Hello and welcome to another video. In this video we'll be doing chi-square analysis or chi-square test using IBM SPSS 26. For this I'll be doing two types of chi-square analysis. One, the first one is the one-way table or one-way chi-square test and the second, way, second one is the two-way table or the two-way chi-square test or the contingency table test. So for the first one, we're going to start with, and just to make it clear, SPSS uses different uh, menu items to do the chi-square test for one-way table and two-way table. So for one-way table first, we're going to go with the Analyze option. So this is the file that we have. And we're going to go down to non-parametric test and then we're going to select legacy dialog and of course chi-square. The only thing we need to do here is specify the qualitative variable of interest. In this case we want the user and then depending on your problem if you have the all category categories equal for the expected value which means equal percentages then you choose this one here if you have different values then you just have to click on values and add the probabilities that you want and every time you add a value you have to press the button end for example 0.25 add and then 0.25 and so on. Just make sure the sum of all probabilities equal 1 or 100%. I'm just going to use all categories equal and you can explore what do you want here if you want the exact or the Monte Carlo method or the asymptotic method and it tells you here the exact method will be used instead of Monte Carlo when computational limits allow uh, and the non-asymptotic method cell counts are always rounded or truncated in computing the test statistics. So it depends on what type of test you want. Choose, click OK, explore the option if you want the descriptive, if you want quartiles. Don't want any of that. And you click OK. And it will produce the output and it gives you the results the chi-square value, degree of freedom expected frequency less than 5, you have 0 all the frequencies are greater than 5 one of the things we know about chi-square is if you have any expected value less than 5 we have to remove it from the test because all expected value should be greater than 5 the second one we're going to do is the table, the two-way two table method for chi-square or the contingency table or the cross-tabs table. And as I said earlier, this method we have to go to different place in SPSS. So we have to go to analyze this time, click on descriptive statistics, and we're going to go to cross-tabs. We have to add the qualitative variables for the row and column so make sure they are qualitative not quantitative so I'm going to add aware to row and gender to column now you don't see chi-square here so we have to click on statistics and choose the chi-square method of course if you want any of these options you can choose them, but the main thing we need here is the chi-square. The other thing that you can explore is, again, exact. If you want the asymptotic method, Monte Carlo method, or exact method. If you want the observed or expected to display you want the, to hide the small amount less than 5, if you want the percentages for the rows, columns, and total, you can check all of these 
from here. Now, I'm going to do something first, and you're going to see that we're going to get results that doesn't make sense. Okay, you can see all of these saying everything is less than 5, there is no values for the chi-square, and it says 4 cells, 100% of them have expected count less than 5. Uh, so, this is a problem because you must weight each observation in the data cell and the data file that you have by the cell count for that observation before running the chi-square. So to do that, before we do the chi-square test, we have to tell them what I'm using here as the count. So we're going to go to do that, we're going to go to data, and we go all the way down to weight cases. And here we're going to tell SPSS to weight the cases by whatever you want, the number or the percent. We're going to go with number, the number values, which is this one here. So it's going to weight the cases by the values that we have here. Click OK. And then we're going to go back and do the chi-square test. So we're going to go to descriptive statistics, cross tabs, it's still the same thing selected, and you can see that it's still chi-square, but now it's going to do it by the numbers that we have. We click OK, and you can see that the values now are different. There is no values less than 5, the expected count for each one of them and the percentages, and that's the chi-square test. And you can see here that there is zero cells that have expected count less than five. And it gives us all the results that are required. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and look for more videos on SPSS, Excel, and other statistical analysis methods.